when we should start applying for post doc okay so from my experience what i think is that when you are about to start your thesis mm-hmm. okay parallelly start your process of applying for post doc okay because when you start applying it doesn't happen immediately True. i think uh when i started to apply i started to write my thesis mm-hmm. after 5 months i got my first reply for postdoc for postdoc okay so it uh, like i from my personal experience i think three things work mm-hmm. in your psg try to see who else is working in the same field first yeah. try to follow their works during your phd itself mm. and in your phd if you get an opportunity like uh, as a visiting researcher or any sandwich program between india and that particular mm. country okay. try to yeah. get in touch with those professor mm. go for their lab mm. understand what they are doing So for three months or six months, we have multiple fellowship during our PhDs, right? I want to interrupt you. Like yes, how sure. difficult it is to get this uh, oh. sandwich fellowship or uh, any visiting fellowship? I think uh, it is quite difficult okay. because uh, I think uh, like uh, after your second year of PhD, mm-hmm. just get an exp one year experience in your PhD of. whatever you are working at either theoretical or computational get hands on just try to know like because when you are doing the literature survey you know who is good in that particular yeah. field right so when you see that they are doing good work you just try to reach out to them meanwhile they might not have open position they don't put on the website so many a times yeah. you have to write an email to the professors expressing your interest yeah. and what you would like to work very briefly so when they have their fellowship from their country they will suggest you to apply mm. but in some institutes they have an mou signed between mm. the university mm. where you write a proposal yeah. and then you go on the that basis okay. so that is the two opportunities like mm. during your phd uh, get that network collaboration with mm. different people that you want to work with okay, okay that is one good thing mm. and if possible like most of the professors will have collaboration like if mm-hmm. they would have done their post docs in different countries mm-hmm. their pis would then be in touch mm-hmm. so through that connection mm-hmm. try to uh, make some connections mm-hmm. like if you are uh, doing some work mm-hmm. a part of it will be conducted by them mm-hmm. so you will have a combination of authors in your paper mm-hmm. so that can also be an uh, small step for you to mm-hmm. take it ahead Okay. So that is one more thing. I think more than applying for the job posting, mm-hmm. it is always preferred. Mm-hmm. I mean, like the majority of the replies I got mm-hmm. was more like when I reached out to them personally mm-hmm. for the professors, saying, "I what kind of work in the group interests me, and why do I want to be there, and what fits me to be in that lab." So do you write directly to mail to them? Yes, or? I write to the professors. Hmm. I usually write and wait for a week. Sometimes usually they reply in a two to three days. Hmm. Sometimes they don't reply. I'll try to give at least uh, one week time, and I'll do at Remind. least two follow up emails. Okay. So I will wait hmm. because professors are kind of busy. Hmm. They get True. a lot of mails actually. Yeah. So we need to understand that, but. we need to have little patience and that perseverance to carry on that so i think an at least two to three follow ups will ca- attract their attention so they will reach out to you if they have any position they let you know or if they have alternating uh, alternate fellowships they will suggest you so on that basis you can actually explore those opportunities so always give yourself at least one year time when you uh, when you are thinking when you are anticipating that you will be completing your phd in the next year Okay, so let's say uh, my PhD is going to complete uh, next next year at October. Yes, today, uh, you should start right now. Right now, right I should now start. you start hmm. and take baby steps okay. like how to reach out to the professor, how do you frame your emails mm-hmm. because it not it should not be lengthy. Okay, so you should be very precise and crisp and tell what exactly you want so to do. So can you break down what are the process like how we approach to the professor, what content should go for email to. Okay. So basically, 